Hey everybody, happy New Year's, happy 2016, it's January 2nd, and just a quick little shop update, um, haven't done anything for three weeks, took three weeks off, didn't do a damn thing, it was killing me, so I had to spend three weeks stuck in the house recovering from all this, but hence the, uh, Rain came along with the beautiful weather, weeks of 70 degrees, but then we had 10 inches of rain. So we had a little bit of flooding going on with our new shop. And uh, just wanted to show you a little bit here. My drainage system completely clogged up with Georgia clay and the soupy stuff. But, you know, you had to deal with it, so start over. But uh, I got a trench here I dug out. This was, oh... Well, not real high, but I don't know. I'd say it was up to the the first uh, first um, uh, siding, you know, piece of siding there on here. And the uh, problem is, and it, it was expected, you can see how everything just drains right down to the garage. Well, this was, this is just temporary. I was trying to wait till spring to get a landscaping in. I did build a berm here. Uh, somewhat but it's still I take on the water for five properties so when it rains and you get 10 inches um, it's just it's huge amounts of water that flow um, rivers I mean you can you can see that uh, here oh Jesus I mean this was it was flowing big time I mean there's a trench up there and I just take everything on from all these properties all the way around my property and it all goes right down here some of it most of it goes down here into and it just goes down there's a creek down there and first time in 10 years i've ever seen that creek it was 12 feet wide and two and a half feet deep I've never seen it it's a dry creek you know and then a little rain it gets gets the water and takes it away but this was flowing holy crap so anyways uh and then I didn't extend my berm because I ran out of, uh, you know, rental equipment, power equipment. And so it comes in here and comes down. And so anyways, we got a little bit of water in the shop, but no big deal. We'll get this all taken care of. But, uh, you know, I've been promising this old truck since last January that I was going to quit making her work and restore, her, uh, get her painted and put in a stereo and you know make it a nice little truck and and uh you know what i promise i keep promising her that she, she's retired and she's gonna get a facelift and everything and you know 45 years old and well she's got two tons of gravel in her <laughs> and uh ain't complaining a bit uh sagging about eight inches and this is a three-quarter ton but uh, this gravel, you know what? I gotta, I gotta have it. It's gotta go in here, and 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 cover this mud and do the drainage system. Because I mean, it, this is my air compressor uh, room right here, where the air compressor is, and uh, this seemed to drain okay. Um, I didn't get any water in here, so this drainage going all the way down to the end of the garage. You know, gutters are filling, going into this, and it's an underground French drain system. And uh, this seemed to work okay. There was no, I couldn't find any any real uh, water problems on this side. In fact, there's a big-ass stump right here that I never had time to get out. I mean, this thing's big. And if I could get this out, I'd have a nice little trail through, through here. So, I, But a week ago, this stump was underground. And you can see how much the rain washed, you know, washed the washed it down. It's actually visible now. So uh, in here and stuff. So well, that's the most rain we've we've had. I don't know on record, I believe, and it's the warmest December. I up until yesterday, it was seventy-five degrees every day. Uh, yesterday it was forty-five. Um, went out for a ride on the on the scooter and uh i don't know why i didn't go on december 31st but 
when it was 75 instead of waiting until January 1st uh, when it was 45. I don't know, that was kind of stupid, but uh, I can say, you know what, geez, I rode on January 1st. Big deal, I've been doing that for years. So, but anyways, uh, uh, I got to now somehow figure out how to get this gravel out. I think I'm going to find me some, some uh, uh, day laborers that work cheap, 10 bucks an hour, and have them scoop this out and put it all here. I, you know, I can't do that, but, you know, basically it just, yeah, I keep promising this old truck and, and, uh, in fact, uh, you can see there's, there's no problem with the window here, why there's plastic on there. It's just, I took the window out in the whole dash and the whole insides a year and a half ago to paint it and start the restoration. And, uh, it's still, uh, sitting here like this. I just, you know, I don't know why, but um, there's always something to do, like build a shop to do it um, instead of doing it in your driveway. Um, <laughs> so, anyways, folks, uh, uh, nothing major in the inside the shop. As I said, I took three weeks off. I just physically had to take a break. This was killing me, and uh, it's helped greatly. So I can piddle away at it. Um, basically, I just got some a little bit of electrical left, and uh, I got to put up the uh, HVAC ducting, but that's nothing. I'm just going to hang that. Uh, but uh, you know, just I started a little bit yesterday, and uh, and uh, just working away. You know, uh, TV's working. You know, this, that, and the other. Uh, well, while I'm in here, I'll show you real quick. Uh, I got my outlets put in, which are right here. Um, those only took a, oh, a month. <laughs> you know, yeah, you wouldn't want to hire me. I'm, you know, Speedy Gonzalez, so. But uh, we got them in, and, and uh, this is my little thing. We still got more to go. We got to get the... Uh, turbo exhaust fan put in that goes up in there that's for venting venting the place if I do any when I paint the truck and stuff like that and uh, I got my I got my door kind of put in for my turlet my camping turlet and guess what we got a fan and we got a light isn't that a nice bathroom ooh turlet paper got everything it's a shitter not so pretty yet, but we'll get her finished someday. And this is where it kind of all flooded. It's dried up now. It's uh, called wet wet dry vac. But this whole area was flooded. Um, nothing here besides the HVA, but that's not going to hurt nothing. Uh, and then it flooded a little bit in the corner here, but again, it was it was to be expected uh, until I get that re-landscaped and get rid of this. Uh, uh, drainage you can still see a little bit of moisture down there but it's not gonna hurt nothing that's all pressure treated lumber so that's what it's there for uh what else um i don't know i don't know what's new i got the last fan put up and got my security cameras working uh, got all the wiring figured out. I thought I had bad wires that I ran underground for internet and uh, you know, Ethernet uh, network cabling. I thought I had bad wires, uh, but it turned out it was a bad tester that I had, and I mismarked the wires. So I was testing one on one end, and I don't know how I did it, but I screwed it up. And so I got a new tester and uh, caught my mistake. Uh, so my wiring's all good, which is good because it's all underground and I, you know, it's, uh, you don't even want to know. So, oh, uh, and there's my, uh, friend of mine, Philip came over and put that up for me. That's my cage now on top of my scaffolding. You know what? Now I'm super safe. That's just awesome. You know what? Now you can lean and you know, feel like you're going to kill yourself and you know because well i hate to keep reminding myself of my problems but when you're a little unstable and you can't feel nothing in your hands 
you know what, when you got to do this shit, because you don't have no other resources really, uh, you know, this this stuff is really a big help. I mean, it's money I don't have, but it's it's just it's unbelievable. It's making my life really nice. And uh, got all the finally got all the lights working, all of them working. So I got two sets of lights now. I got those or the big ones, so I can go either way. The can lights just supplement these big lights because. I should have bought the more expensive ones, but they were more expensive, so they weren't quite bright enough for me. So having all these cans and everything's LED, when this place is lit up, all 30 some lights are rolling. I'm not using more than than uh, the equivalent to 200 and 110 watt spotlight bulbs, you know, like for outside security lights. Um, this doesn't cost nothing to operate. Um, in fact. I haven't even noticed the increase on my electric bill. So, because I mean, the lights that are on right now are all 15 watts, so you're not even using a, a 100 watt light bulb with all these lights right here. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, LEDs are great. I'm glad, uh, glad they've really come a long way. So, anyway, sorry right, folks. Well, Happy New Year's. Wish everybody uh, 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 safe and healthy and wealthy and Happy 2016, and uh, uh, that's it, so over and out.